Prodom's to dive back at it again. So most of you guys are like, what is that thing? I'm going to get to that in a second. All right. So I was a bit busy because I got a new job right now. So I'm working five days a week. But trust me, I'm, I'm banking it right now. OK, so I'm going to go through this. We got two beautiful containers that I got today. I'm very happy about that which is pretty good and they're empty. So I am going to see if I can clean them out and use them. Now over here, somebody threw out, I uh, do believe I had passed by a type of eviction, a lot of wire. Okay. Anytime I throw out, somebody throws out wire, always check it. Okay. And some of you guys in the comments say, yeah, because you never know what type of wire it is. So this here is speaker wire, but it's very, very good speaker wire. This is copper. Now, what I wanted to do is I could use this for anything. And this is a thick type of copper, too. This is a good gauge. This probably goes about maybe 15 feet. To get the copper out of this and use it as like a copper rope, I would have to put it through a special... I could cut it with a razor by hand. I could put it through a splitter. Or I have a hand piece there that could try to do it. Hopefully, it works the correct way. You know, which is nice. And this is all copper, by the way. I do like that. And again, it weighs a couple ounces, but it's still pretty good. OK, now I have this down here. I'm keeping this because this one is weird. Look at this. This is copper and silver, a silver piece there right now, which might be tin or steel or aluminum or something else. But it's good to have that at a different gauge and to have a nice one. I unraveled it and I put everything together like this and wrapped it up so it's much easier to actually use, okay? Now, I did find a little extension cord in here, which is very nice. I found some good gauge speaker wire, which actually has the three strands in it. Here we go. Now, these, these are like the old AV cables when you guys were, you know, you had video games like a Sega Genesis or an Xbox. So you would actually use these for the sound. You would have the red, white, and yellow, which is pretty good. So I am keeping that, by the way. There is another wire in here, which is pretty good. I did find oh, damn, move this as well. This is very nice. So I wrap this, by the way. I do like these to having these stacked up. OK, because it's very good. It looks clean cut and it keeps it organized. And I have a wire wall that I'm going to put these on in case I have to rewire something for Christmas lights outside or even this panel. We're going to go with that in a minute. Found a phone cable set, which is pretty good, but there's no phone with it. But I do have some random wire. OK, now let's get to the crown jewel. A lot of you guys are like, is that a piece of metal? No, this is weird, but I haven't seen these before until labs. Now, here's the first part of it, right? Here's the front. It's not a whiteboard, okay? I thought it was a whiteboard, but this, I'm gonna turn it around, is some type of special panel. It says Max Light Model LED Flat Panel Performance, two foot by four foot edge lit. Okay, and there's the LED driver box that this would plug into the wall with. And we have hooks here, which would actually attach to maybe a medical office or a doctor's office or so. So, yeah, this thing here is a beautiful LED panel. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've never had one of these before. This is nice. And I also don't know how much it is. If you're watching in the comment section... Can you find out how much a Max Light model MLFP is worth? Because I would really like to know. This is really good, by the way, to have one of these. What could I do? I could put this on the floor. I could put one of these on the ceiling and just keep it up. It's beautiful. It, I absolutely love this thing, man. This is nice. I like the way that this actually is. And this is very good. You have the model here. So this Lufid driver goes with this right now to make sure that you don't put too much electricity to it. It's very good. Right? I do like it right now. So I do want to figure out what I have to plug into the wall with and go in there. I might touch it with a 9 volt or so and see what happens. But I do want to know. Right? I do think that this part might come out or so like that. Mm, I got to be careful. Uh, if I go in there with the driver, uh, do I have a, let me see, I don't have a flathead or anything there right now. But again, 
a lot of people are like, well, you got to be careful. Yeah, I know. But again, somebody threw it out. So, oh, shit. I don't want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to be careful with it. Okay. I don't want to break anything right now, but it does look good. So to have one of these is very nice, but if I can get this to work, let me tell you something. This is beautiful. Now, why would this be good? This is good for a number of reasons. In an EMP, okay, or doing a major power outage, to have one of these work is beautiful because this is long, it's flat, and these are LEDs. If I can get this to light up with 12 volts as wide as it is and I can clean this off, I'm good to go. I could have this running off of a solar panel and a battery at nighttime and I'd be good. This is nice though. All right, and guess what? There were 12 of these out there. There were 12, okay? So I do wanna figure out how to light this up. I do see a wire in there and there's a ground. I gotta figure it out. All right, guys. This is probably one of the best things I've picked up in a while. And I, I do like this max light. I got to see what this is online. All right, guys. Have a good day. And guess what? Guess what? If I need wire, I can go right here. I got that. Look, perfect. Perfect. Love it. Love it. And I got different types of wire here. I could plug this in and actually check it out. I'm going to wire this up tonight and see what I'm probably going to use this gauge right now. To get that done and the good let me see something do i have i need to have a plug yeah here we go i need to have a nine what can i plug this in with let me see is this output nine volt 500 milliamp yep i'm gonna try this up see if it works all right guys pro dumpster diver out